Hey guys, what's up? So there are a lot of games coming out in 2018 and we here at Not Go Gamers personally think these 10 games deserve to be in a list on their own. None of these games are in any particular order, so number 1 is not better than number 10, number 5 is not better than number 4. But you know, leave a comment down below and tell us which one do you think deserves to be the best. At number 1, we have Agony made by the creators from Mad Mind Studios. In Agony, you play as this tormented soul that was sent to hell and he has no recollection of who he is. He doesn't know who he is, so he's stuck in hell. So Agony is a survival horror game, but it looks very different. I've never seen anything like this before. Like, the guns in this game, they actually look like they're alive. Like, organic looking guns. And the world itself, well, as you can see, a lot of death and destruction. The walls look like they're alive. Everything looks like it's alive. It was originally stated to be released on the 30th of March, but they got delayed to an unspecified date. But let's hope it's still in 2018, huh? At number 2, we have Sea of Thieves by Rare. Sea of Thieves is a pirate-themed multiplayer action-adventure game where you and your friends can man ships and plunder the open world. We personally like this game because the mechanics are kind of realistic. You need one man to steer the wheel, you need one man to uh, do the sails, you need one man to man the cannons. In what other pirate game do you need a lot of friends to man a ship? So if you guys want to play a game that requires teamwork and a lot of friends but you can just sail everywhere and have fun, this is the game for you. It's actually released, so go and play now. At number 3, we have State of Decay 2. State of Decay 2 is an open world zombie apocalyptic game where you scavenge to survive. You gotta go everywhere around the map to look for stuff and supplies to build your base up. And not to forget, also save the random NPCs looking for help. If you guys love State of Decay 1, you're gonna love State of Decay 2 because they actually added in multiplayer now, which was missing in State of Decay 1. So you and your friends can team up and scavenge through the world. State of Decay 2 is scheduled to be released on May 22nd, so get your copy soon, huh? Pre-order if you want, huh? I think it's a good game. At number 4, we have Vampire. Vampire is a role-playing action game where you play as Jonathan Reed, a newly turned vampire in 20th century London during the Spanish flu pandemic. What's cool about this game is you don't really have to kill anyone. You don't have an obligation to kill, they're not gonna force you to kill anyone. But you know, as a vampire, you gotta survive on blood. So as a vampire, you can charm people into letting them in your house because vampires can't actually enter people's houses without being invited. Think of this as Skyrim, but you're a vampire. It's the kind of game where your choices matter. It's gonna be released on June 5th, so watch out. At number 5, we have Shining Resonance Refrain. Shining Resonance Refrain is actually a remake of the PS3 game, Shining Resonance, which was only released on Japan, so now it's gonna be released globally, you know? Shining Resonance Refrain is gonna be improving on the graphics, gonna be 1080p, standard 1080p. And also, they're gonna include all the DLC released for the PS3 version of the game, so you don't have to spend money on the DLC, you know? The remaster also features a new refrain mode which features new contact and new party members so you can go around with your party with new people you've ever, never even played with before. And last but not least, Shining Resonance Refrain also includes Japanese and English voice tracks. So maybe you want to play it in Japanese with English subtitles or you're lazy to read like me. We don't have an exact date on when it's going to be released but we're pretty sure it's going to be in 2018. So when it comes out, we'll, we'll, be, we'll be sure to play it. We'll be sure to play it and show you guys. At number 6, we have Detroit Become Human. If you guys ever played Heavy Rain or Beyond Two Souls, then you're gonna love this game because it's by the same developer and it's the same concept. With that being said, Detroit Become Human is a very story-driven game where everything you do, everything you say has consequences. Like if you say the wrong thing, there's no continuous screen. Your, your character's gonna die and he's out of the game. So this game actually stands out for us because you actually build an emotion in this game. It's not one of those like, I'm, uh, I'm gonna die so might as well just restart the game, right? You can't do that. You build an emotion with this game. You grow with the character. You see what they do. You do your best to make them survive, that kind of game. Detroit Become Human is going to be released worldwide on 25th May, so we're going we're gonna to play it for sure. I'm going I'm to be gone for a few weeks to play the game. At number 7, we have Crackdown 3. Crackdown 3 was set to be released in 2016, but it got delayed. And it was set to release in 2017, but it got delayed again. So let's hope that they actually stick to the release date this time. If you guys haven't heard of Crackdown 3, it's an open world action game where you go around and arrest people. You're part of this special agency group and you're a super soldier. Compared to the other two Crackdowns, this game actually has a lot of physics now. You can actually blow up buildings in a huge scale. Like the whole building, poof, gone. It's gone. So if you guys like destruction, demolition and just feeling like a real badass, get this game. There's no specific release date yet for this game, but expect it sometime this year. At number 8, we got Jurassic World Evolution. If you guys are a fan of Zoo Tycoon, Roller Coaster Tycoon, and other of those tycoon games, you're gonna love this game because you actually get to build your own Jurassic Park. So it's been a while since we actually had a tycoon kind of game, and this is pretty interesting, you know? I always wanted to build my own Jurassic Park. So if you guys just want to build your own park and relax and not play a game where you have to worry about someone killing you, you should get this game. It's a very relaxing game. Just building dinosaurs, looking at people, looking at your dinosaurs. But you know, if you're bored, you can always break the gate and let the dinosaurs run roof and kill everyone. 
The game is going to be released on June 22nd, so get your gyro pods ready and get ready for a ride. At number 9, we've got Metro Exodus. Metro Exodus is a first-person shooter with survival and horror elements, set in a post-apocalyptic wasteland of the Russian Federation, where a nuclear war actually happened and everything above is gone. So this game is actually a sequel to Metro Last Light, which was released a few years back. If you guys are into gritty survival games, then this is the game for you. You're gonna be fighting against monsters, you're gonna be fighting against humans and mutants. Pretty cool game, pretty cool game. And also it has very good survival elements because if you go to the surface, you need to put on the gas mask because there's a lot of nuclear stuff flying around. Metro Last Night doesn't have a specific release date but expect it to release this year. And at number 10, we have Spider-Man. There have been a lot of Spider-Man games recently and I personally think they've been really mediocre like Amazing Spider-Man 2 actually disappointed in me so much. I thought it was gonna be a good game. But for the looks of the new Spider-Man, it looks really interesting. You play as Peter Parker Spider-Man where you spring on New York looking for bad guys to catch. From the looks of the gameplay footage, the combat actually looks pretty interesting compared to the previous ones where I didn't like. Cause in this Spider-Man, it actually gives you a lot of variations on how you can take down the enemy and a lot of skill moves. What's special about this game too is that you can play as Peter Parker outside of the Spider-Man suit. So you can walk around as Peter Parker in certain missions and also you can play as Mary Jane in certain missions. I've never been uh, able to play Mary Jane before. Which one to play her? So Spider-Man's gonna be released on September 7, 2018 exclusively for the PS4. So get your web shooters ready cause your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man is gonna swing by. Alright, so that wraps up for our top 10 list of the games in 2018 and disclaimer guys, like I said, this is what we personally think is the best. Let us know down in the comment below and tell us what you think is the best. And let us know what other top 10 videos you like to see. Mm -hmm. Top 10 Vincent doing dance, top 10 videos coming out. <laughs> Alright, so that's the end of the video. Do remember to subscribe to our channel and also follow us through Instagram. See you later guys.